In this step, we will register Aruba AP to Cisco Eyes for basic AAA and DOL1X WLAN authentication. The first, we are going to add our Aruba Instant AP as a network device in Cisco Eyes. So first, we will add um, Aruba AP and its IP address. In here we make a subnet wrench. Device profile we use Aruba wireless. Device type wireless. I'll make a radius share key. Then submit. The next step we will create double line in Aruba. AP. In Aruba AP configuration page, we we'll go to configuration, level one, create a new network for double LAN. Make demo Wi Fi. Type is wireless, primary use will be employee. We'll make a static assignment. AA99 VLAN. Go back to basic. We'll show advanced options. Transfer rates. We'll make it 12 minimum. To better bands, I'll use 5G for employees. That's good for now. Let's say next. Next. We'll use enterprise security level. In here, we are already created Cisco ICE for authentication server. We'll show you the IP address of the ICE and the share key. Click OK. We we'll enable OCK, fast roaming, dot eleven R, dot eleven K. Next, we'll make sure the uh, access rule will be unrestricted. Now the demo Wi-Fi network is created, but hold on a moment. I need to make the access row as a row based. In the row base, I will create a contractor row where assign a VLAN 99 and deny the access, any access to my uh, enterprise server. And I have created an employee row which we will just simply sign to VLAN 88. Now click finish. So this time we should go back to Cisco Ice and we navigate to um, policy element. For the policy element results, where I have created uh, allowed protocol, can allow protocol. I'm allowing EPTRS, EPAP, and EPFAS, EPTTLs, and EPTAP, EPChaining. So save it. In this ICE, I have integration with an external identified source for Active Directory. Active Directory name is demo.local. Okay. Next. We'll go ahead and create our certificate authentication profile, CAPL, 
in here create one called EAP CAPL. We will go search the advanced store AD demo local. In here, use identify identity uh, form for SAN subject alternative name. And we will only to resolve identity ambiguity. Click save. The next step, we'll go ahead to create a policy. We'll create a new policy set. We'll name it as wireless Aruba demo Wi-Fi. For the condition, we'll make sure we um, going to match um, Aruba ESSID. The Aruba ESSID name will be demo underscore Wi-Fi. I'll create another uh, condition. This condition has been uh, defined. We will find uh, condition is wireless Adol 111X. Click use. I want to make more uh, specific for the uh, second condition. So let me delete this one. In here, we'll make um, more for the radius NAS radius NAS port type, which this will be wireless IEEE Dawn 11. Click use. At this time, we have defined the condition for our new policy set. Um, for the lab local, we'll just use a lab locals. Click use. In the new wireless Aluba Dymo Wi Fi policy set, expand authentication policy. We'll simply make a default uh, deny access. On the top of it, I'll create a new authentication rule. The new name will be just be IP TLS. Condition is IP TLS. Click use. In here, we'll use our IP CAPL certificate profile. Now, expand authorization policy. Again, we'll make, uh, we have already made default uh, rule a deny access. On top of it, we will uh, make a, a new rule, authorization new rule name, employee. For the condition, we're going to match our external AD. For demo group one, we'll click a use. We'll make a permit access. Again, duplicate below, we'll make contractor. For nano AD group, we'll make demo group two a second condition and permit access. Click save. Now we should make a test. Let's open our any connect, find our demo Wi-Fi. On the prompt, we'll make a certificate and click OK. The client has been successfully connected. Let's go back to ICE and find our uh, active uh, life log.
we have seen uh, active successful uh, authentication log, the authenticated user, is logging uh, to Aruba ESS name demo Wi-Fi and a name is uh, common name is demo user 2 and it's the user certificate More important, we have hit the authorization policy for contract. So go back to our Aluba instant AP. We have seen, uh, we've been seeing the client role is demo Wi-Fi. Okay, in the next lab, we'll make Aruba AAA a rule-based triple, uh, rule-based triple A to Cisco Ice. In the Ice, what uh, we will do is under the authorization results for authorization protocol uh, profile, we will go uh, add one authorization profile called Aruba employee. Of course, a network device will be Aruba wireless. In the advanced attributes, we are going to select Aruba. we will choose Aluba user row. Just type employee to match what we have created in Aruba AP. Click Subnet, Submit. And similar, we'll make a duplicate. We make duplicates for our contractor. This will be a contractor. Click Subnet Submit and go back to our policy set. Going to the policy set for the authorization policy. Instead permit access, we'll make Aruba employee authorization profile and um, Aruba contractor authorization profile. Click save. We're going to test. To, uh, we're removing the old profile. Going to make a certificate and log into our demo Wi-Fi again. Use certificate, click OK. We have acquired IP for our VLAN 99. Let's define the role for contractor. Let's verify it. We have a new user login and acquired role for contractor under ICE live logs and see the details. It has acquired the authorization results for Aruba contractor. And send Aruba user role for contractor as well. Now let's test if the client can access our 
employee server. The ping is timeout. Thank you for watching.